Hi, welcome to a microchips training video on how to use a microchips advanced part selector tool, also known as MAPS. I will show you how to use this tool so that you can easily select microchip products. From the microchip homepage on the website, you will find a category box labeled resources. MAPS will be the first link displayed in that box. Clicking on the MAPS link will direct you to microchip selection tool page. A list of tools will be linked on this page, but to access MAPS, we will select the link that says Microchip Advanced Part Selector Guide. Note, the actual link to the tool is embedded in the thumbnail that displays a globe within a microscope. After you open the link, MAPS will appear and prompt you to pick a place to start. You can start with analog, interface, memory, microcontroller, or wireless categories. Once you make your selection, the tool will open to the selected product category. We will select analog. Now, from this webpage, we can interact with and utilize MAPS. In the top left corner of the page, you will see three drop-down bars for product family, manufacturer, and part number. Click on the product family drop-down bar and a menu will appear from which you can select the product family of interest. Today, we will first look at the LDO family as an example. Clicking on the manufacturer drop-down bar will reveal a menu with different semiconductor manufacturers of the selected product family. Today, we will select Infineon Technologies. After a manufacturer is selected, the first part number in the catalog will populate the product number bar and bottom leftmost column. However, if you click on the part number drop-down bar, the drop-down menu will list all the parts from the selected manufacturer and product family. Please note, every selection made will prompt a refresh of the tool and the microchip parts that correspond to selected parameters will populate in the search result box at the top of the web page. Notice, we have three columns below the part number search and search result boxes. The leftmost column represents the part number search box and will display the parametric data for the part number selected in the part number search box. The rightmost column represents the search results box and will display the parametric data for the microchip part that is selected within the search results box. The middle column allows you to filter microchip parts based on parameters. For an example, if you want to select a criterion that will filter and display microchip parts whose maximum input voltage is less than or equal to a certain voltage, we would first select the less than or equal to icon from the left drop-down bar, and then select the highest maximum input voltage from the right parameter drop-down bar. Please note, the right parameter drop-down bar will default to the parameter value of the part displayed in the leftmost column. The search results box will continue to update and repopulate with filtered microchip parts each time a new criterion is imposed on any of the parameters. Selecting a part from the microchip search results box will prompt a refresh of the page and will populate the rightmost column with the first part listed in the filtered search results. Let's navigate through another product family to have a quick look at how MAPS displays different part categories. We will select voltage supervisors and select on semiconductor. In this example, we will select that MAX 707. This part will populate the bottom leftmost column just like it did for LDOs. Using the middle column, first select the product type you like to filter out, then select the parameter filters you like to apply to microchip voltage supervisors, just like we did with the LDO product family. The general user interface of MAPS is nearly identical across all the different product families. For further information on the microchip part, the box next to the device details grid displays links to related development tools and technical documents. Links are also provided in the bottom right corner of the page to the product webpage, as well as web pages where you can request samples or purchase the part. If at any moment there's a need to view parts from other product categories, buttons to the other product categories are constantly displayed at the top far right corner of the screen for quick, convenient navigation. This concludes this training video on Microchip's Advanced Part Selector Tool. I hope this video was informative and prepared you to utilize MAPS effectively. Thank you for your time.